Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a form for the sign up in React. So let's get started. You can see here the React application. And let's go to sign up component. And here I'm going to add the form tag. So first of all, I'm going to add here the H1 tag with the form caption sign up. After that, I'm going to add here the input for the email. You can see here the input for the email. After that, I'm going to add here the input for the name. You can see here the input for the name. After that, I'm going to add here the input for the password. You can see here the input for the password. After that, I'm going to add here the button to submit the form. And you can see here the button with the caption sign up. So let me check the console what errors we are getting. And you can see button is not defined. Let's go to top. And here I'm going to import button from React Bootstrap. And you can see error removed. Let's go to UI. And you can see here the static form for the sign up let me change the variant of the button from primary to dark and you can see the variant of the button that is a dark so in the sign up package i'm going to create a new file with the name sign up dot css let's create this and here i'm going to add the css properties for the sign up form you can see here the css properties okay so let's go to sign up component and here i'm going to import our css file after importing the css file i'm going to add here the class name on the main div let me copy the class name from the css file that is a center hyphen form let me paste here let's go to ui and you can see the CSS properties are applied successfully let me update the background color of the sign up button so let's go to sign up.css file and you can see here the properties for the button let me comment this property let's go to ui and you can see the background color of the button changed successfully okay so after creating the form i'm going to make it reactive like we need to get the input values on the submission of the form so let's go to sign up component and here inside the sign up function i'm going to declare the use state for our inputs and it will be a from use state let me declare here the inputs that we need to get from the form so the first one is a email that is by default empty second that is a name that is by default empty and the last one that is a password okay so let's go to our form and here on the input of the email address i'm going to add here the property that is a value so we need to call our use state that is a form data and this input for our email let me copy this let's go to input for the name and let me paste after that and this input for the name so let me add here the form data dot name and the last one that is for the password let me add here and here we need to add form data dot password okay so after that i'm going to add here the event that is a on change and on the on change event we need to call a method that is a handle input change let me add in this event all of these inputs let's declare this method inside our sign up function so let me declare after the use state and it will be a const in the argument it will receive an event let me add here the arrow function and here we need to clone the inputs after this we need to call the use state that is a set form data and here we need to clone the input Here is the name of the input and here is the input value so after that i'm going to create the function handle submit and it will be a async and here i'm going to add console.log to print the input values in the console so first one we have email second we have name and the last one we have password okay 
So let me copy the method name and we need to call this method on the on submit event. So on the form tag, I'm going to add the event that is a on submit. And on this event, we need to call the method that is a handle submit. After this, inside the handle submit, I'm going to call here the property that is a e dot prevent default. Let's go to UI. Let me open here the inspect. Let's fill the form. Let's click on this sign up button to submit the form. And you can see here the values that we got from the form with the email, name, and the password. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.